Hey, so what's going on guys? Back here with Drug Talk Reviews and welcome back to another video. So as you can see, I'm back in my Sirocco and it's four months since I actually did a video on the Sirocco. It's been a pretty long time. I've actually been uh, sort of parking this car uh, at home. It's because I got the Tiguan, so I've been actually driving it uh, more often than the Sirocco. But anyways, this car uh, is about to get a good amount of mods so that is actually the plan is either to get an engine swap or get like a stage 3 build for the engine but i'm uh, gravitating more towards a stage 3 build just because i do want to keep the engine as it is and focus more on building the internal so it'll be forged pistons forged corn rods bigger turbo uh basically like rebuilding the whole engine getting a very good stage 3 tune so i am we actually working with uh Vox Auto Garage as well as DP Tune. That is my goal for now. And uh, we'll see where that leads us. But this is probably the last video you'll be seeing of this car in its somewhat stock form. Of course, I've done like a quite a amount of tasteful mods. But uh, I'm going to be taking you guys for a tour outside as well as the engine bay and showing you guys uh, the current state the car is in. This car has been uh, really absolutely blast to drive. I've been loving this as a daily driver. The consumption is really good. It sounds good. It's powerful. So in my opinion, I believe that this is a very daily drivable car. So I'm really, really happy with actually owning the Sirocco. I think it's a very beautiful car and it's such such a sad thing that they actually discontinued the model but anyways today i will be not only taking you guys for a tour around the car but also a short pov drive so this will be a very chill video because i do want to keep things uh very short and precise uh, at least for this video till the car is fully built then i'll be giving you stages on how the car has been built if i do choose to build the engine uh if i do choose an engine swap then of course it'll be a different thing altogether but uh Tentatively, these are the plans for the Sirocco. So now let me take you guys on the outside tour and then we will go to the engine bay and then back in the cabin. Alright guys, so you can see the car is pretty much in the same form that you saw it the last time I did the video. So still with the tech wrap carbon hood wrap as well as fender wrap. And then basically we got the roof wrap as well still there and it's been holding up pretty well. So I'm probably not be changing anything much. The rims are still AOW flow forming rims. And these rims has been holding up really well. Of course, it's pretty dirty because I haven't had time to wash the car. So they are still running on Brembo Max with Brembo Max pad. So these brakes has been really, really awesome. I never had any issues with the braking performance ever since I upgraded these brakes. So really, really good. Tires, of course, are due for change. So I'm not sure I'll be going 18 inch once I've done the stage 3 build. But uh, yeah, I do hope to get 18 inch rims for this car because I think it suits the profile of the car much better. Okay, so that's about it. You can see the side. Everything is pretty much bone stock. Of course, the back also, Brembo Max. So everything, it is the same. So muffler delete, still there. Let's see, let me give you guys a round. So I did change the mirror though, uh, because actually I broke the mirror. So I changed to another one. Cost a pretty penny, but uh, yeah, at least it doesn't like vibrate anymore. So you can see the condition of the car is basically still really, really good. It's held up really well. Of course, I've done the coating and stuff like that. Um, of course, you can see a bit of two-tone right here. This versus this because I actually sprayed this with a matte spray. It's a plastic spray. I believe Samurai, if I'm not mistaken, that's the brand. So the PPF on the headlamps are still working good. Overall, still is uh, stock form. Of course, I did spray my Volkswagen logo on the front and the back. But uh, yeah, it's starting to get chipped because of the stones all right so let me open my hood and give you guys a tour on the engine all right guys so coming to the engine bay you can see it's the same as what you saw previously still running the r8 coils still has this uh really awfully painted heat shielding for the turbo and of course i did wrap my intake piping with this gold file which is supposed to uh, expel heat or prevent the pipe from getting hot that was overkill but anyways i got it done uh, that was a diy project so still running the same MST performance cold air intake. Uh, it has this secret mod, this GFB diverter valve plus. So the engine is basically bone stock still, except for these very small mods right here. Uh, in terms of race strip, it's still there, hanging there, but uh, I have the race strip disconnected and using the dummy plug. 
So reship is uh, something I do not really recommend. If I've been following the previous videos, that's something I really do not recommend. But anyways, uh, we all learn from uh, mistakes. So anyways, you can see the engine as it is right now. Still with this DIY key shielding, which uh, apparently has no effect. But anyway, um, so far it has been holding up well. Um, I've seen pretty good inter air temperatures. So I guess it does something. Need some cleaning up though, the engine bay. Been parking this outside. Anyways, we will do that when we start the build, of course. Okay, so now back to the interior. Okay, so as for the interior, still using the Luffy XF, which I reviewed a couple of months back. Uh, still using the Pitaka, Make Easy Carmel Pro, which is really awesome. Perfect for this car because I do not plan to change my heat unit and I still haven't. So it's still the stock heat unit. I, I think it matches the door speakers perfectly. So I do not want to like do unnecessary changes. So basically, the inside is still stock. <sighs> You can see right here, there are like no fancy carbon parts and stuff like that. Everything, it is as stock as it can be. But a uh, very good condition though. I've, I've kept everything in perfectly mean condition because I'm really OCD about the interior of the car as well as the exterior. So yeah, uh, in terms of interior, nothing much. So that's about it, you can see. So now we'll be doing a very quick POV drive just for the fun of it. And then I will update you guys again when we start the build or I will do an engine swap uh, so far now it's still in the works I'm comparing the cost of the parts because the parts have all gone up these days I should have done it like a while ago but uh, yeah it is what it is we live in Malaysia where inflation is a very common problem okay so anyways I will catch you guys in the next video hope you guys like this video if you do have any thoughts or any questions do leave it down in the comment section below and I'll definitely try my best to answer every one of them. Alright, so thanks guys for watching. Enjoy the POV drive and I'll catch you guys in the next video.